Hello, I'm Maddie and welcome to Christmas Cooking Wednesdays with AO.com. In this series of videos, I'm going to be making not so tried and tested festive recipes in alternative appliances. And we're kicking the Christmas season off with mince pies in a toasty maker. That's right. The idea is that we're just going to make a toasty in the usual way, except we're gonna swap out the bread for puff pastry. I haven't tried this before, <laughs> so we're just gonna see if it works, but that's the idea of these videos. If it works, that's great. If it doesn't, we all had a laugh. You're gonna want some pre-roll puff pastry because nobody's got time for that. Egg wash, which is just one beaten egg. Some mincemeat. I got some quite good quality pre-made stuff. And then finally, you're just gonna want some muscovado sugar. Firstly, you wanna plug in your toasty maker so you get it's nice and hot. What I would think you should do is take four sheets of puff pastry, yeah, and then put the rest to the side if yours hasn't stuck to. Uh, all right, calm down. <coughs> just gonna cut your sheets in half first, and then again, just down the middle. So you have yourself four quarters. Moving on to the egg wash, we're gonna prep the puff pastry. What you really want is one of those brushes that you can do egg wash with, but I don't have one. So hold that thought. I'm just gonna go and find myself an instrument. Back in a second. Well, it's not, it's not ideal. I've got a paintbrush. Take the puff pastry that you're working with. I'm just gonna make one for now and then I'll save these ones for later. So using my paintbrush, I'm just going to dab it all over and then you just lay the layer them on top of each other. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ah! Until you have two piles, each with four pieces of puff pastry. Stop it, behave. Whilst that's heating up, I want you to get just a pinch of muscovado sugar and then just sprinkle it over the top of each of your slices and this hopefully <laughs> in the toasty maker is just going to caramelize and sort of give it that really nice sugary topping oh, i'm a bit nervous <laughs> carefully lift off your puff pastry and then place it sugar side down inside the toasty maker oh it's already wanting to puff that's good now you want to get yourself a heaped tablespoon of mincemeat and then just put it inside and then i'm putting my other piece of bread sugar side up on top wish me luck i'm just going to close it a question for you. Why is mincemeat called mincemeat? What are these little white bits? I think that's just lard. Ooh. Oh, green lights, come on. Right, let's give it an open. Let's test it. Right. You need to get your egg wash and you need to seal the two together. Should have done this before, but you learn from your mistakes. That's the whole point of these videos. Shut it back up again. Ready for its second, possibly third, maybe fourth and fifth cycle. It smells amazing, however. Not sure if you can hear that but I've pretty much got myself a little mincemeat volcano going on inside here right now. It's definitely boiling <laughs> inside there, but I'm gonna leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are finished. So time for the moment of truth. I've left it in for a good 10 minutes just to make sure all the pastry is thoroughly cooked. Wow! Before you take the toasty out, make sure you turn it off at the wall. Safety first, people. Slowly but carefully, you just wanna lever it. <gasps> As you can see, and as expected, some of the sides haven't quite cooked, but that's okay. We did actually need the overspill to make sure we got a good seal on it. So you wanna take yourself a sharp knife and then just trim off the edges. Again, be very careful because the inside is boiling hot. What's so brilliant about this is that if you gave that to somebody, they would just assume it was a cheese toasty, but it's not, it's better, it's a mint pie. This bit's up to you. If you like your mince pies, plain and simple, then you could eat it straight away, warm out of the toasty. Just make sure you let it cool down a little bit inside first. But I've got a few extra ingredients just to finish it off and make it look really special. I've got some icing sugar, some cinnamon, and of course, the all important brandy butter. Did you hear that crack? Using a sieve, I'm just going to dust over some icing sugar. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was a little bit liberal. I didn't expect it to come out quite that fast. So maybe shake off some of that extra icing sugar. Place your perfectly dusted icing sugar mince pies onto a plate. I'm now gonna put a very careful teaspoon of cinnamon over the top. And finally, I'm going to add a little dollop of brandy butter. And that, everybody, is my mince pie toasties. <gasps> right, let's give it a taste. I might be a genius. Oh my goodness me. 
Oh, the mince meat inside is still warm. It's crunchy, that burnt sugar on top with a kick of cinnamon. That's really, really good, honestly. Yes, here's to the start of the Christmas season, everybody. Whoa. I really hope you enjoyed this first video in our Christmas Cooking Wednesday series. Give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments below letting me know what recipes you would like to see me attempting to make next. So come back next week and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.